When the Dallas School Board meets later today, Superintendent Michael Hinojosa is expected to offer his resignation. Kennedy Walker is monitoring developments this morning at DISD headquarters. Kennedy. Hey, Karen. Yes, yeah, soon Michael Hinojosa will walk through these doors and announce his retirement. And he's been a part of this district for more than 40 years as a student, teacher, and of course, that superintendent. Now, he is set to leave at the end of this year. Many sources say there are rumblings. The 65 year old may run for public office, even mayor. But Hinojosa has not confirmed any of the speculation. He has made quite a name for himself in the district and helped regain residents' trust. He led the district through the natural disasters and most recently the pandemic. At the beginning of the school year, he made national headlines by being one of the first superintendents to openly defy Governor Abbott and put a district wide mask mandate in place. But when you're talking with um, 145 to 50,000 students and 20,000 plus employees, that's a lot to manage. And he's mm -hmm. done it probably, I think, better than anybody could have in Dallas ISD. This morning, Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson posted this tweet thanking Hinojosa for his service and wished him the best moving forward. And Karen, again, that board meeting starts in about 30 minutes at 1130. And following that, Hinojosa is holding a news conference at 1.30. So, Kennedy, if this plays out as we expect it to, what are you hearing about who his replacement might be? So he did come up with an agreement with the board saying that there, there will be a secession plan. Now, sources are telling CBS 11 that they believe that the front runner for that successor would be Susanna Cordova. She joins us from Denver Public Schools. We'll have more information on that. Of course, nothing has been uh, said thus far as we're waiting on that meeting to start. Our Andrea Lucia is here and she will have more on that this afternoon. Karen. Karen. A lot unfolding with our two largest school districts in North Texas. Kennedy, thank you.